name is Jabi and welcome to this month's Fail Box. Fail stands for fan mail, and at the end of every month I take a look at what you guys have sent me to my P.O. Box. Of course, that's P.O. Box 329 over California 90651. And I am particularly excited for this month because June is the month that I was born. Specifically June 22nd. Thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. And it is for that reason that I hope that I get something good. But of course, before we get into the boxes, we have some letters to go through. Obviously, I'm not going to go through all of these, but just like the fail boxes since, what was it, fail box 10, I'm going to pick five letters from here, randomly. And I understand that might not be fair to some of you guys who sent me letters like six months ago. <laughs> but I tell you what, when there comes a month when the P.O. box is completely dry, it will happen, by the way, it's just the circle of life. I'll be forced to read all the letters I have left. Just the... the not right now. So without further ado, before I get into the letters, I should let you know that this video is gonna be the last video that I make until the week after next. I'm just gonna take one week off because next week is gonna be pretty, uh, pretty lit. Things going on throughout next week, most likely involving alcohol. And on Saturday of next week, I'm gonna be at Anime Expo. So I will see you guys there if you happen to catch me. It's not going to be anything official. I'm just there walking the halls, maybe with this mask, maybe with the classic mask. Okay, now we can get into it, finally. This one is from an Alex Kreitzberg, and they're from Ohio. Oh, hero. <laughs> Two papers here, pretty typical, one art and one letter. Dear Thick Yellow Big Boy Asian. I'm Alex and I'm 14? I've been watching your cancer since early 2017 and I have to say it made me laugh. Although I own... There's something crossed out there that I can barely read. I'm sure it's extremely funny. Let's just skip ahead. P.S. I use Sharpie because my dog ate my eraser. P.P.S. Shout out to my Instagram, please. It's Cliffy underscore 75541. I post gaming memes. Your big boyfriend aids on a bun. Thank you so much, Alex, for watching my content since 2017. It, it, that's quite a while. So now let's take a look at your fan art. This is the price I pay for uh, reading letters randomly from different months because, wow, these memes are out of date. Another day in the white fields. I'm Asian and I can't even do a proper Asian. Accent. Okay, thank you, Alex. Off to the next one. This one comes from a Christian McDonald, and they're from Florida, and it's addressed to Jobzilla, King of the Hong. Okay, we have a lot of papers here. Hopefully, most of them are artwork because I do not want to read four letters from one envelope. Dear Jobby, I discovered your channel when looking for kaiju-related videos, and ever since then, I subscribe to your channel because you're funny as hell. Thank you very much. I decided to send you this letter and some drawings I think you'll like. P.S. I'm 23, maybe 24 by the time you read this. So yes, I'm part of the... Big boys, thank you so much for being older than 18. And if you wanted to know with social media, there it is. So let's get into these papers. Monica Godzilla Prime, she looks kind of depressed. Godzilla from Monster Planet. And we have a- that looks pretty damn good. Deburuman! Thank you so much, Chris. Off to the next one. This one's from a Michael Acosta Baptiste. And they're from New York. Oh. Oh, shit. We have a letter and a little comic. Let's read the letter first. Dear Jobby, I own the comic club named on the back. I am... 11! Please accept the enclosed gifts and the homemade comic in your free time. Also, you are part of my inspiration to start my own YouTube channel. Happy days, hashtag Swovu here. Well, good luck to you and your channel. You will develop into a fine artist, I'm sure. Let's take a brief glimpse at this comic here. Jobby the Hong by Michael Acosta Baptiste. Hey, my name is Jobby, and today we're taking a look at Optimus Prime. Everyone who has got... All right, I think I've seen enough. Thank you so much, Michael. <laughs> this one is from a Jose Arambula. Most likely messed that one up, I don't care. Two papers. I really like it when you guys keep it short and sweet. It allows me to read the whole thing on camera and I feel less guilty about it. Dear Jobby the Hong, I like to watch your videos and keep up the hard work. P.S. Sorry if the letter is short. Also, fan art, do not apologize for the shortness of the letter, please. So we have a logo and we have a alternate logo, I suppose. Thank you very much, Jose, and thank you for the shortness of your letter. You don't know how many hours you just shaved off of my editing time. And for the final letter that I picked out of that pile, Ben Murray. And they're from Dublin. So we've got a letter and we've got some fan art and my god, I am sorry, but I assume that your handwriting is as comprehensible as your accent. But I'll do my best. Hey Jobby, my name is Ben and I'm writing to you from Ireland. I'm fifth <laughs> There's really nothing I could do about it at this point. I just want to thank you for sharing your videos. I won't say much, but I don't exactly have the best mindset on life. 
but I always find comfort in your videos. They always give me a sense of joy while I watch them. I find it hard to express myself around others because of the things I like. For example, I love Doki Doki Literature Club and have a lot of thoughts about the game that I like to talk to my friends about, but they probably think that I'm a sad weeb who cries over anime girls. <laughs> if you're watching this video, we're probably all with you. I'm sorry to get all emotional on you, but I just wanted to thank you for providing us hours of entertainment. No homo. That wasn't the end of the letter, but thank you so much, Ben, for your kind words. I'll finish the letter off screen now. You might not be a big boy, Ben, but you certainly write like one. And the whole time, there was a piece of fan art at the back. I hope you can see that because my camera's kind of crapping out on me right now, but that is beautiful. All oh, the dokies. And he thinks Yuri's best girl, so Ben, you're, you're all right in my book. And this one is a Metal Gear piece that he mentioned in the letter. I'm already a demon that's pretty edgy, but from what I know, Metal Gear is also pretty edgy. I haven't played it. Thank you so much, Ben. And before we move on to our boxes, there is one more bigger envelope we have to take a look at. Okay, make that two bigger envelopes. This one comes from a Thomas Lynch, and they're from New Jersey. We've got a few pieces of fan art, and I just remembered who Thomas Lynch was. He was in my previous Failbox video. I thought he wasn't a big boy, but apparently he was. So sorry about mis-aging you. That's a word, right? Hello, Thomas Lynch, aka TL Lucario, back at it. I forgot to say in the last letter, I'm 19 and turning 20 this August. Don't be sorry about that. You are a certified big boy. Also, I have a YouTube channel called TL Lucario. I make AMVs and anything Tokusatsu and Mecha related if you're interested. Winky face. And he's got some questions. Number one, do you know of the Super Robot War series? I've heard of it. I believe it's a massive crossover between different Mecha genres. It's a video game. It sounds pretty cool, but I'm not much of a gamer. Number two, who do you think would win in a battle to the death? Omnimon or Gallantmon? To be honest with you, I didn't watch a lot of the third season of Digimon, so I don't really know Gallantmon's power level, but due to nostalgia's I will have to say Omnimon. I love that thing to death. Number three, what is your ultimate dream crossover idea if you have one? That is a very good question. I gotta think about this for a second. Gangnam Style and Despacito. Hope you have an amazing day and stay awesome. Thank you so much, Thomas. Let's take a look at your fan art. So according to a note on the back of this, this is Omnimon destroying Gypsy Avenger. You know, I actually like Gypsy Avenger, but Pacific Rim Uprising? Check out my last video for my opinion on that. Happy birthday, Jobby Boy. Thank you so much. That's adorable. And look at that. We got an Infinity War meme. I don't feel so good. <laughs> and for the final envelope of the day, we have a Wade Davis. And they're from Florida. Okay, we've got a little card with the letter on. It. Might as well read the whole thing. It's not that much. Good day, Jobby Kun. <laughs> okay, let's not read the whole thing. <laughs> he drew a little uh, pop team epic. I forget which one is this. Is it Popuku or Pipimi? I forget. And before we get into the fan art, let me just read this final line here. I unironically only like Trigger because of their remote relation to Ava. Love Wade, age 21. Although I don't agree with you on your opinion on Trigger, they actually make legitimately good content. Darling in the Franks is the most disappointing thing. And on the front of the envelope here, we get a piece of art that looks awesome, actually. And he's even got a tumbler, so check that out if you'd like. Whoa! What the fuck? This is borderline inappropriate for YouTube. I don't even know if I could uh, show this, but if <laughs> Oh my goodness. I guess that's me with all of the characters that I've claimed as waifu over the years. Asuka shit, I could agree with that. Thank you so much, Wade. Don't forget to check out his Tumblr. I'm pretty sure he has the skills to draw some... some... And that concludes the letters of the day. Let's take a look at what most of you guys are here for. Our first box comes from a Eric, and they're from New Jersey. Whoa! Whoa! It's a Transformers animated shockwave or long arm. Spoilers, I'm sorry. We have a little Spider Gwen keychain and a letter. So at this point, to save up on time, I'm gonna start reading your letters off screen. Dear Bobby the Jobby the Hobby the Hop. Okay, thank you very much, Eric. Even though you lost the instructions for this figure, it's very considerate of you to print them out from the internet, so. Thank you very much for that. Also, you have some questions for me. Number one, would you consider yourself a Star Wars fan? Yeah! There was a time in my life when I was super into Star Wars. Let me tell you, I would just binge read the Wikipedia. I guess I wouldn't consider myself a Star Wars fan in the modern sense of the word. You know, I don't worship everyone who was involved in the production. And I actually was not too big on The Last Jedi. At least half of it. Number two, why did you start bleeping out or Hanging out your use of the f word demonetization i don't really know if my use of the f word has been affecting whether or not my videos get monetized but in this current climate of youtube 
effery. It's better not to take any chances. Number three, do you think you could do another giveaway at some point? Maybe. Okay, thank you very much, Eric. I will review Gundams when I feel like it. Thank you for not being one of those guys. The next one doesn't have a name on it, but they're from Ohio. What the F? We got a really messed up looking box in here. Let's see. That's Black Rock Shooter. Oh, you have a letter? I don't know if you packaged it like this or it got messed up in shipping, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, a random otaku guy. You have two questions for me. Number one, how did you do your paint job on your custom Ava Unit 1 and Zaku models? God, uh, there really is no short answer for that. I recommend you go back and watch those reviews and see what I say about the building and painting process of those. I do mention it somewhat. And what kind of paint did you use? I can answer that. Mostly testers enamel for all the hand-painted details and the uh, Krylon for the spray paints, although I do not recommend you use the Krylon flat clear coat. It sucks ass. Do not use it, stay away from it. But the Krylon color stuff is not bad. As for my second question, I am looking to get into Gundam modeling and I was wondering if there are any videos that you would recommend I watch. I recommend all the stuff that I watch before getting into modeling, so it would be Vegeta, Sequence of Numbers, I forget what it is, Jab Man. God, there's this one Australian guy that does really good tutorials. I forget his name, I'll, I'll put it on screen. Big shout out to Vegeta, also known as Henry, by the way. He is super great at what he does. It's just too bad he doesn't know who I am. I understand that I'm not for everybody, but you, you, you don't have to be so mean about it. And apparently this Figma Black Rock Shooter is a bootleg, so we're just gonna take a look at that because I do not want to review another bootleg figure again. Not after last time. I didn't even take it out of the box yet, and it's already breaking apart. I'm just gonna leave it in the box forever. Hey, for the last guy who asked me, new giveaway, how about that? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that to you guys. Thank you so much, random otaku guy. And interestingly enough, all the boxes that we have left are pretty dang big. So the next one comes from Travis Johnson and they're from Wyoming. A baggie with something in it? What in the heck is that? Anime girl and another Akiba Ranger. I did a review on the red one like a long time ago, so this would be a funny follow-up. Doesn't look like we have a letter inside the box, but maybe if we look through the bags... I don't recognize this figure, but it looks really cool. Onslaught from uh, Transformers Universe. Cool. And you know what? I have a feeling that this is one of those packages that the guy sent the letter separately, but because I'm taking a look at letters randomly now, I have no context for any of this. So thank you so much, Travis Johnson. This looks awesome. I do not recognize this character, but apparently she's from Queen's Blade and this figure looks lewd as F. I might review this figure, but I might get a community guideline strike. If anything, I'd upload this review to Pornhub. Okay, thank you so much, Travis. The next box comes from a Sean Breen and they're from Illinois. First thing I see, cute little giraffe plush. I hope it's not used. <laughs> Looks like a Jaeger from Pacific Rim, a Godzilla figure, a lot of plastic bags, and we have... Is that Sans Undertale? Okay, so we have a letter here. Hello, Swivel Jobby Man. Thank you very much, Godzilla Boss Gaming, which is his name on YouTube. Thank you very much for sticking with me since early 2017. And if you'd like to send me a gun to model kit, go ahead. No guarantees that I'm going to build it though. And we have a coin here. It's just a quarter. Gundam sucks. Not as much as this drawing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty mean, but fuck you. And we have this that I don't know what's going on. Kill me. Thank you very much, Sean Breen. This big thing comes from a Evan Wood. And they're from Minnesota. Whoa! That's an original Supreme Class Starscream from Transformers Cybertron. Jesus Christ, it's huge. I've never seen it in person. And we have a letter here. All right, thank you so much, Evan. It takes someone of great character to admit that they're not a big boy. Explicitly, he says he is not a big boy. Therefore, big toys only go to big boys. So I'm glad that you think the quality of my content has gone up. You're one of the few. <laughs> and P.S. Have you heard of this dude called K's Ocean Tide? Effing delectable artwork. I will check him out. It's probably, it's porn, isn't it? Thank you so much, Evan. And now we get to our final three packages. Kind of fast, wasn't it? This box comes from a Rice the Wich. And they're from Virginia. I recognize this logo. This has got to be uh, profe Professor Kaiju, am I correct? Looks like a little model kit of uh, Godzilla. And we have a letter here. Okay, we got... Okay. Uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you very much, Bryce, aka Professor Kaiju on YouTube. He did a parody video of me recently that I only watched actually last night. I tweeted it out and... um. 
Uh, <laughs> you put a lot of effort into that video. The the pacing, the editing, the, the things that you even say. Pretty damn spot on to what I was doing around 2016. Maybe even uh, early 2017, actually. I would hope that the content that I'm producing now kind of moved away from all the stuff that you were making fun of in that video. But I don't know. Go check out the video for yourself. Check out his channel also. He seems like he's got a lot of potential as a good toy review channel. And for a parody logo, not that bad of an artist, I would say. Thank you very much for your kind words. I'm glad that you and your wife enjoy my videos and the best of luck to you and your channel. Our next one comes from a Cap'n and Immy, and they're from California. Oh, from Norwalk, California, where the P.O. Box is located. You must have told me a story on Twitter where you dropped this off and the male person was like, Hey, why does this guy get so many packages? But you know, it's because I make cancer on YouTube, that's why. An orc from Warcraft. Orc lady. Orc old man. And a guy. Someone must like Warcraft. Whoa, that's a lot of paragraphs. Okay, thank you so much, Catton and Immy. I'm glad that you couple of dumb nerd fans <laughs> enjoy my content. And apparently these four Warcraft figures that you gifted me are really bad and you want to see a review of them. You suggest that I do all four of them at once? Maybe I will. It might seem like a good time. I might throw them in the trash right after. The fact that you actually bought them brand new in box just for me to shit on them, that... I gotta give you one of these. And just to answer a question that you have, I've actually never played World of Warcraft, but I am familiar that they did make a movie. P.S. We both saw you were going to AX this year. Hopefully, maybe we can cross paths this time. Apparently, you guys are gonna be dressed as Gundam characters, a Zeon and Federation officer. I hope to see you guys too. Okay, thank you very much for a potential interesting video. And now, our final package. It's not gonna be as big to fill up the whole screen, but I'd say it's still pretty sizable. Ooh, a letter? <laughs> Inside out toy? Bag of organic gummy bears, I will definitely eat some of that. And a... Wow! A Sideshow Collectibles Yoda? This is my first ever Sideshow Collectibles toy. I didn't expect it to be Yoda, but I'm not mad. <laughs> oh, what the heck is this? Looks adorable. From Lucky Monster. It seems like a pretty short letter, so I'm just gonna read all of it on camera. Hiya, Jobby. What's shaking? Happy birthday, Jobby the Hong. I wish you a good birthday. Thank you so much. I sent joy your way along with the man of wisdom with some non-GMO fruit bear. Take care, love. P.S. May joy bring you some joy on this wonderful day. That's very sweet. It's just a really nice, to the point, no sarcasm, no memes, just pure love. Thank you very much, Lucky Lukey Monster. Let me, let me, let me try some of these organic gummy bears. Uh, check the quality of them, you know? Oh, that's delicious. This is Joy from Inside Out. Pretty good movie. I didn't love it as many other critics did, but what's this? Got lights and sounds? What are you doing? That's what oh. talking about. Another perfect day. Nice job, everybody. Let's get those memories down the long term. Finally, I have my own miniature Amy Poehler. And you know what? Let me take a look at this. Like I said, this is my first ever Sideshow Collectibles figure. And I know that Sideshow Collectibles is usually really expensive. That looks pretty crazy. I, I should definitely review this. Maybe when the next Star Wars comes out, you know, if it's not dead by then. Definitely gotta review this. This seems really interesting. <laughs> Thank you so much for everyone who sent me a package this month. It's been a great time here. I hope you had a good time too. Pretty damn good birthday gifts, I gotta say. And if you wanted to be part of next month's fail box, go ahead and send anything you'd like to my P.O. Box 329 over California 90651. And not only do I have to thank you guys that sent me stuff, I have to thank everyone on Patreon who continues to support me and new people who keep coming in. So thank you very much for that. You help keep the channel alive, especially within this current climate of YouTube, what I said earlier in the video, and you also help keep this series of videos alive by allowing me to pay the monthly cost of the P.O. Box. But just as a reminder, taking a short break for the first week of July, not gonna post anything, maybe, let, let's see how it goes, maybe I'll post at least one video, don't count on it, and I will see you guys at Anime Expo if you're going. Please, if you're walking the halls, and you see me walking around with a dress shirt, a bomber jacket, and some sort of Batman mask, don't be afraid to come up and say, hi please come up and say hi it boosts my ego so much <laughs>